You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the March 7th, 2023 meeting of the Port County Parks and Recreation Board. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportcounty.org. Okay, can I have an approval for the agenda? We are going to add one thing to the uh, old business, which is the signatures for the master plan. So, and a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. And any changes on the minutes from last meeting? Motion to approve the minutes. Okay, can I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Financial reports, any questions on those? Yeah, so as you remember last month, the numbers were kind of, um, we weren't, they weren't entered into the financial system yet. So now they are, these are the official numbers. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at on that. It looks a lot fuller. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is all in water. Yes, it is. <laughs> Can I have a motion to accept the financial report? So moved. And a second? Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. Jeremy, your report. Okay, um, we're going to start off with the awards for the, um, the um, park awards. These are annual awards that are, uh, we give to, um, uh, there's three different categories, um, and, and we'll give those out, but basically they're, they're um, people or organizations that have helped us out throughout the year and, and kind of gave um, Above and beyond what a normal a normal volunteer or a you know person would, would give our organization. So uh, the first one I'd like to give is the uh, organization of the year, um, and that's going to go to Northwest Health Laporte Hospital Outpatient Rehab. Um, what 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 they did was when we put in our new uh, playground at Loon County Park. Um, I worked with uh, Brianne and, and several other people there that, that helped develop activities and um, things on that playground that, that help people with their, um, uh, with just different activities that will stimulate certain things and people who maybe need um, help with, uh, that may have autism or other things like that that are gonna help them enjoy that playground more and, and also uh, stimulate um, growth in those areas. Um, then receiving this organization or this, this award for assisting us uh, in creating additional activities for participants to do while playing at one county park playground. So, so most kids are going to go there and play and just play, but if they use these activities, it's going to help them in even more ways than what the playground is, you know, is, is um, just normally used for. Um, they enhance the playground experience by helping develop a child's speech, language, and co uh, cognition, fine motor, and sensory skills. Uh, the participants now have these, uh, thanks to our, our staff as well, uh, have these, uh, they can scan a QR code, or the parent can scan a QR code when they go up to the playground and bring up these activities and see what, what's a, what else is available other than, other than just the regular play. Um, so I wanted to thank, we wanted to thank this group um, for helping our park patrons and us improve the playground experience at Bloom County Park. So we can all come up. We're going to get a picture of behind you today. So. Okay. <laughs> um, so. Sure. For somebody's office. And Thank, you. Thank 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 you. There's some sickness going around, and she didn't want a chance to that. So, Katie, um, this is uh, from our from our um, nature center staff. 
She's been a gem to work with. Uh, she not only provides countless medical educational programs with her unique teaching to her heart patrons over the years, but she also was very helpful with getting doctors and other medical staff of Northwest Health to provide professional topics at our Healthy Lifestyles program. She's dedicated, devoted, and determined. She knows how to put that uh, special touch on things and is a blessing for, for our population. <laughs> She's eager to jump right in with both feet and help where needed to assure our park patrons have a successful program. So she, anytime we uh, lower, we need her to help with any of those programs, all she had to do was ask, and, and Katie is always willing to help out and with her expertise, which is not necessarily our staff's expertise, and uh, is able to just improve those programs by that much more. So although she's not here, we wanted to recognize her as well. Thank you. And lastly, the Outstanding Park Service Award, and that's gonna go to, uh, we gave it to two people this year, uh, Laura Moyer and, and Nikki Schmuddy. Um, they both received this Outstanding Park Service Award for their years of dedicated service to the citizens of Fort County. Uh, Laura had 16 years with the county parks, 16, right? Just shy, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, Nikki had 29. Um, so, so long-term employees that have, have touched a lot of lives that are kind of parks. Um, she's been, Laura's been the recreation and education programmer since 2007 and has seen over 100,000 participants at her park programs. Uh, she's created several successful programs. Um, you know, she's done Daddy Daughter Dance, she's done Tiny Nature's Tiny Tots, lots of different um, programs that are very successful and, and brings hundreds of kids in a year. Um, she's responsible for the parks press releases, staff, the nature center, and so much more. So I wanted to thank her uh, for that. Um, she will be retiring in April. Nikki Smuddy has been a chief naturalist since 1994, and I told several people that I was still in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki didn't fight that too much. <laughs> Um, she's been chief medical since 1994 and has seen over 200,000 participants in park programs. She manages the nature center and staff and overseeing the programs taking place in the parks and in the schools. So, so I, the one thing I'll say about Nikki is that, um, so recently she started going into the schools and doing programs in the schools. And when we when we started talking about this, you know, I, I'm. Thinking, you know, and she's probably thinking, this is you know, toward the end of my career. Most people start kind of wanting to coast towards the end of their career. And Nikki actually ramped these up so much that, I mean, she's in the winter, she was almost many, many visits to schools every week. It wasn't just, you know, I'll do one a week or whatever, but she's reaching, you know, 30 kids at a time every day, just about, because she's, these teachers found out that she's going to bring a snake into the classroom and bring it salamander into the classroom and just these kids just loved it so it just turned into you know she was every day getting calls to come into schools and, and really impressed that Nikki was able to keep pushing ahead like that after 29 years and continue to to work so hard to to reach these kids in this county so uh, Nikki retired unfortunately last week so um so that she's already Moved out of the county. <laughs> <laughs> Not that she hated it here, but she had a like house and she sure wanted to be at that place. Yes. So wanted to thank them as well. So, Laura, if you could come up and at least get a picture with me. <laughs> I was going to hold a Nikki head. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, I like to too much in the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and that's all I had on that. Okay. Uh, okay. Update on the possible bloom expansion. We're, so I told you last uh, month that the um, appraiser kind of ghosted the, the, the DNR after 
uh, coming out and looking. I don't, I don't, they still don't know what happened, but they did hire an appraiser. They've been out at the site trying to work that out with the landowner and see what, see what they can come up with. So it is moving forward, but um, update on hiring. As I said, Nikki retired last week. Uh, we were, the county uh, worked with us and we were able to start somebody this week and I'm in her position. So um, our new person, she, she actually is, uh, she works part-time somewhere else or, or did, you know, still does a little bit. So she had already scheduled tonight. I was gonna have her come and meet everybody, but we'll get you, we'll get, get her to the next meeting if she can make it and, and um, have her meet you. And then I'll probably, when we hire um, Laura's position, and we are on that note, we, we we also hire, are hiring someone in that position. So we interviewed everybody that we had for that position. We had posted Laura's position already and weren't getting many more applications. So as we interviewed, I was asking them, are you interested in this other position we're gonna have open as well? And they said, absolutely. Oh. Almost every one of them said, absolutely. So we had two really, we had several really good candidates, uh, but the two, the two were hiring April and then Kara, are going to, I just truly believe they're going to fit right in and, and, and I'm really excited about the opportunity. Um, and, you know, one of them works, um, Kara works at St. Joe County Parks right now doing, so, doing these kind of things. So I think this is going to be a good cool fit. So, and, uh, and then we also hired um, the a new office part-time office person and two part-time nature center positions so all all new there as well um so we had a lot of a lot of things going on this last uh couple months but i think we're up to up to normal on that now we will be um we have posted the seasonal maintenance positions so if anybody knows anybody that needs a job uh, just seasonal maintenance, doing, you know, mowing, cleaning up the parks, restrooms, that kind of stuff. Please have them go on the Laporte County Parks, or Laporte County website and, and go under employment and find that, find that position. So. What's the starting salary for those? Or is there uh, seasonal maintenance positions are $15 an hour. So. Okay, that's what I thought. They are physical. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. It, it's, you're out there in the heat and everything else, and they're very physical jobs at times, but um, very, very rewarding, obviously, as well. So, and that's about all I have for the, for the uh, superintendent reports. Okay. Maintenance and construction report is in the packet here. Yeah. There's not, you know, they, they, a lot of Greg, just general maintenance, um, working on equipment, that kind of stuff. Uh, they did do some painting in the EEC and then install some um, baseboards around where the, you know, the Ever Drive project was, the drain project. We wanted to, to protect those, the way those things were made. We just didn't want like the cart that has all the chairs rolling over them and breaking something. So uh, they were, they, they built some things around that and that kind of thing. Okay. And about it. Park count, that's pretty it's in the self explanatory. Okay. Um, any questions on any of those? Okay. Standing committees, the executive committee does not have a report. Budget committee? We don't have anything. Okay. Personnel committee? Um, so it's election of officers time. So I went ahead, um, Mary and I, and we sent out if anyone else would like to be interested in taking those positions or changing. Um, now at this time, um, it will remain the same where at least two gentlemen, Ron will be the president and Jim will be the vice president, correct? That's what it is. Um, that, so I would like to make a motion to leave both of those gentlemen in office. And I'll second that motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> Thank you for doing that. That was easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Listen, there were years I just had ballots, and we had. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I do vaguely. Re I do vaguely remember that. Do you remember? Yeah, vaguely. <laughs> the progression on time. Yeah. So. Uh, property committee? No report. Okay. And planning committee, they are not here, so evidently they don't have a report. And rules committee? Also no report. No report. Okay. Uh, old business. Um, the old business that we have is the signatures needed for the uh, master plan submission. Yeah, so when we submit our master plan, there's a page that needs the, uh, all the board signature, and I did not send that around last time, so. There's two sides. Yeah, there's so. two sides. <laughs> One is the requ request for eligibility to, to apply for Land and Water Conservation Funds grants, and the other side is just um, basically saying there's a And that was the same report, or same master plan that I sent you last time. Last time. <laughs> and that we submitted. Okay. And while they're signing that, we'll go on to new business. Um, there's a request to move forward with the restroom septic at Creek Ridge County Park. Yeah, so this is a request just to um, to, to go to the commission and ask permission to go to the council um, to uh, start the process of hopefully building a new restroom and septic system at uh, Creek Ridge County Park. If, if people don't know, that park does not have an actual flush restroom with you know a place to wash your hands and and things like that. So. Um, that is our actually our last park now that does not have that type of facility. So uh, our goal is to, to do that. Um, we've come up with estimates for building most of this in house for about right around one hundred thousand um, dollars. I'd like to I'd like to try to get see if the count. This was one of the projects as you see in your packet um, that was uh, submitted for the. Um, ARP funds uh, originally, so hopefully we can convince the, the commission and council that that's a, a, still a good use of that project. I also um, would like to use some of our non reverting funds as kind of a match to help offset some of that cost. So, so anyway, if you're good with moving forward, that is just a request to go and request the commission allow us to go to the council. So, okay. So can I have a motion to uh, accept the proposed information to the council? Let's move forward with that. I make that motion. Okay, and a second? Second. Well, all in favor? Aye. Ayes have it. Okay. I think that's going to be a huge benefit. Yeah, yeah. Huge. I really do with the new playgrounds and, you know, everything that we've got going on over there. It's, um, I think it's really needed, and when you have three rental facilities and you know they're eating and all of that kind of stuff it's just going to be really nice to have you know hot water and soap and, and you know, to, to, to clean up and stuff so right okay and the resolution for encumbering the 29,000 from the non-reverting fund yes so this 14 that amount there is what we had last year that was um not spent on our non reverting funds. So that, that's money we brought in and we had that money left over. And what I'm, got, what I'm requesting is to go, um, permission to go again to the commission and into the council to ask if we can spend that money, hopefully on that restroom mm -hmm. to offset the cost. So that would be 29,382.30. That's the money we did not spend last year from the revenue we had. <laughs> so. Okay. So can I have a, a motion to uh, make that proposal to the commission? So moved. And a second? And we'll sign. sign it. And we'll sign it? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. We'll move forward on that one. And then request to go before the commission for 39000 for the uh, sealing of the asphalt at the parks. And I think there were pictures in the packet as well that uh, had that. <laughs> So that's that's that was another um, ARP fund request that we did. Um, 
We, we, we actually did that project at Lure last year, so that, that is done. The one that's in the packet for Lure is done. Mm -hmm. um, this request would be adding up all three of those. And if you can see in the packet some of the pictures there of some of the places, yeah. it's, it's needed. It's time. And, uh, so hopefully we can we can do that as well. So 39000 again, going to the commission and, and hopefully the council um, to, to do that project. Okay, can I have a motion to uh, move forward with that project? So moved. And a second? A second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Public comment. Everybody, uh, Jody, uh, County Commissioner, uh, wanted to say thank you to Laura for her service. Yeah. Congratulations here your upcoming retirement. Also, to Nikki, who's already, uh, who's already sailed off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, our next commissioner meeting is uh, we're actually going to be postponing that one day, from 16, just to get a heads up. That notice is going to go out tomorrow morning. Okay. But uh, for quorum purposes, we're going to delay that day with the uh, conference down on the view. Um, and your, at least your request you already sent through that one ARP will be on there. So, <laughs> that was a great bridge, so that should, that should, be, uh, should be possible. Uh, as well. Have you reached out yet to uh, County Highway about the paving? I have not. This is the only, so I don't know if I will come up to him and see if there's something. Reach out to one of them. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other public comment? Board and staff comments. I, I have a, a comment. I wanted to thank the board, my staff, Commissioners, human resources, all of that. My father passed away um, this past Monday, and, and everybody was very understanding and gracious. And, and um, the time that I got to spend with him was was great. And, and I wouldn't have been in this type of position I'm in. And um, working with people that I worked with, I couldn't have done that. So um, definitely, definitely didn't. You know, it, it helped so much and. Was, was able to spend time with my family, all of my family, not just my dad, but um, I, I thank you all and, and the staff, especially too. So I'm sorry for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. know that our prayers are with you for sure. Um, any other board comments? I just have one comment. I am doing an author talk at the library on Thursday at uh, six o'clock in the main conference room there as you go up the stairs on the main level. Um, on the uh, chasing the white blaze, so should be. And that's Laporte or Michigan. Uh, that's in Laporte. Yeah, main branch and on uh, Indiana Avenue. Any other comments? The only thing I want to say is uh, it is going to be weird not having Laura and Nikki in the park. It's yeah. just you guys are fixtures, and you've been here. You are Laporte County Parks. So yeah. thank you for everything you've done. Appreciate everything Nikki's done, and it just won't be the same without you. Just because you're not here physically, you are here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your presence is felt. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'll also say, you know, because I had this question Grant brought up today, is are you coming out with your new, you know, when are you going to come out with your new um, activities and, and programs? But I, so I want to say that obviously. We're losing um, 29 and 16 years of experience. So um, give our give our new people a little while to get the, get their feet under them. We will be having offering some programs, and, and I hope to do a couple of um, uh, grand openings on these playgrounds and things like that. But but um, you know look for look for big things to come. But you know that 29 years of experience and that 16 years of experience, it takes a little while to build up a program. Um, you know repertoire and and hopefully we can we can move forward with some programming soon but but maybe don't expect quite what you've been getting we're going to do some of those programs and then we're going to also go into some more special different specialty areas that they have so give us a little while but we'll be back at it as as soon as we can big shoes yeah big shoes so. to fill for sure okay any other comments can i have a motion to adjourn the meeting so moved. And a second. All in favor? 
Uh, Eyes have it. We will see you in uh, May, on May 9th, right here. That's good. Okay. Here it is. And be either 80 degrees.